Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the ride or die tag that was created by Jacqueline Hill and I was tagged by Charmaine Dulek to do this video. Hey girl, I love her so much. I will have a link to her video and her channel down below but I'm sure you guys all know who she is because she's amazing. And I have been watching her videos for years and she has become so successful and I am so proud of her and the young woman she's become and we have become friends over the past couple of months and she tagged me to do this video and I am here with it for you all today. So let's get started. First product, I'm looking at my phone because I have a list of everything that we're supposed to tag, your ride or die favorites, is primer. I don't normally use primer. But what I use is um, setting spray after I do my makeup to help it from moving around. I use um, Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Cooling and hydrating. I really love this. I've been using this for years. The next is foundation, which my go-to foundation is from Becca. It is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I am in the shade uh, Noisette. I believe that's how it's said. And my favorite thing has a pump. Who doesn't love a foundation with a pump? I know I do. But this is my foundation. Go-to foundation. Uh, concealer. For concealer, I use the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. This, I think, I kid you not guys, this is like my 8th or ninth tube. Ride or die right here, for sure. And next, uh, mascara. For mascara, I use Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational. This is just phenomenal. Truly, truly phenomenal. I absolutely love this mascara. And this is all a mixture of, as you see, high-end drugstore. This is just things that I really like. It's not part of it. For blush, I love Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. This is just amazing. I am almost hitting pan on this bad boy. This is my third one of these. And yes, I am using it now. Everything that I mentioned in the video, I am wearing right now. For bronzer, I Hula. I'm faithful to Hula by Benefit. Those, I'm sure everybody knows what this is. It's been around for a while, pretty popular. Next for highlight is the Becca Champagne Pop. And this is one that was um, in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. So this was a limited edition. I'm not sure, I heard they were gonna make it part of the permanent collection, but I don't know if that's true yet. But this is just amazing. Amazing. For my eyebrows, I use Anastasia Brow Wiz. Love this spoolie. And here. Right now, this is the color Ebony, but I don't normally wear dark. I usually go um, medium brown, but I ran out and I needed some, and my mother had an extra one, so she let me keep this one. But normally I'm in the shade dark brown is what I'm comfortable wearing. This is just too dark, I think, for me. Lipstick. My first lipstick was the MAC um, Hot Tahiti. This is just a beautiful red. This is this color is just awesome. And I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear this red. It's beautiful. Not wearing lipstick right now, but what I'm wearing is my lip gloss that I'll show you in a moment. I'm trying to make this video not too long, guys. For liquid lipstick, Sephora's, uh, what is this? It's number 14. I think it's Marvelous Mauve, I think. No, I don't think that's the right color. I'm sorry, but it's number 14. It's a beautiful purple color. Perfect for fall. It is just stunning. This is a thin liquid lipstick. Again, number 14. But it doesn't say the name. I really hate it. it doesn't say the name. No, it doesn't. Sorry, guys, but it's number 14. For lip gloss, I like Benefit Coralista. And again, it's what I'm wearing right now. I don't have 
anything. I don't have lip liner or lipstick or anything like that. I just have just the um, lip gloss. Sorry. My fragrance is Chloe. I love this. My husband gets it for me almost every anniversary or like special occasion because he knows how much I love this perfume. And I do get a lot of compliments. It just goes with me with my natural scent. I don't I don't know, it just goes with me, it goes very well. It, I'm not sure what it's called, but I always remember it's the one with the pink ribbon. kind of smells like roses a little bit. It smells like flower. It's a beautiful flowery scent, but to me it smells like roses and that's saying something because I don't like flowery perfumes. I don't like to smell like a flower. I, just, I don't know, I just never have, but this one is the exception. Mm, what else? Um, it was the Rider Die tag was also supposed to include powder and under eye setting powder. I have dry skin, so I don't like to use powder and setting powder. Um, I just haven't found one that really works for me. I don't really see the need for it because I don't wear foundation every single day. And when I do, my makeup doesn't last all day because I usually just take it all off. But um, yeah. So I don't have a ride or die powder or under eye setting powder or primer. I don't really use prim primer. Again, I use my setting spray at the end of all that stuff that I do. Uh, that's about it guys. I think I kept it short and sweet and to the point. The point of this tag, right? My videos are usually pretty long. Sorry. <laughs> but this one isn't. Straight to the point. So please tell me guys what are your ride or die products, what do you love to wear, do you have any questions about any products that I showed. These are just things that I am faithful to. If I had to get rid of everything in my makeup collection, these are things that I will hold on to and I would be okay with just having just this in my collection. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching.